Hi guys, welcome to our iPhone tutorial. Sorry if I sound a bit sniffly and sneezy at the moment, I've got a bit of a cough. Um, a friend of mine asked me to explain the MVC paradigm and give an example. So, what MVC means is Model View Controller. The model is basically your data type holder. The view is what displays this data, and then the controller is what takes the data and displays it on the view. And that's my best short um, explanation. So I'm going to give you an example now of how it works in an app. This will be very similar to my other ones, my other tutorials, in that it's going to be just a table view with icons and then open new view with them and gives you information. But in this case, um, I'm going to do this using nibs and stuff and all the nice graphical ways people learn off because I kind of disavowed all that fairly quickly and learned it the other way. But this is probably the easier, most user-friendly way. So just make um, a standard window, uh, no, a standard window-based application. Don't use view control, but you view based just standard window based. I just call mine MVC cocktails. You know, makes me make a nice, nice tasty cocktails to look at. And the first thing you want to do in your blank empty application is create a new file, UI view controller subclass, and make sure it's table view controller with nib unticked. XIB nib, same thing. Create and let's call it table view controller. Okay, now that's created. We have some changes to make there in a minute, but not just yet. Hop into your app delegate.h and make a new property. Property, non atomic, retain, IP, outlet, new database controller, nav. Okay, and synthesize our nav, and of course, deallocate our nav because memory has to be relocated. Nav, release. And we have to then make sure this does what we want it to do. So self dot window add subview nav dot view. You may notice in previous tutorials I properly allocate the nav as a navigation controller here as well. We don't need to do it here because we're going to add the object directly to the main window. So I'll put up your main window dot xib and we want to add a few little things here first of all we want to add a root sorry a navigation controller so open up in your right window and this is what it looks like it looks like a little gray left arrow so drag that in under your window so you have all these here now if you click on the down tab you see all these drop down menus Click on the view controller. Now, navigation controllers have a view controller built in. We want to make this the one we already have. So, make sure view controller is highlighted. And then click on this happy fella. And you'll see a UI view controller class. Click on the down menu and select whatever you called your main table view. So, that's now going to load our table view controller from the main window. Okay, now there's a few other small little things we have to do. First of all, in this view controller, we want a table view control. Sorry, table view, not table controller. Once you find it, drag it in under the view controller. So there you go. That is now in our view controller. And then make sure the table view is highlighted. Click on your connections and set the data source and the delegate to the table view. Okay, that looks good to me. Now if you've watched my last tutorials and I do this by code, you'll see in the header file I have made the application a delegate of table view data source and table view delegate. It's the exact same as connecting them both to the table view. And we have to connect our nav so click on the delegate your nav outlet which we created and drag it to the navigation controller one last thing i'm going to change this root view controller to mvc cocktails okay i think that's everything we need set up at the moment so just build and run and see how it goes this should just be a blank table view that says MVC cocktails. 
ignore the two warnings, that's just two warnings that are saying, yep, yeah, perfect. A table view with nothing in it. These warnings are just because we haven't filled in the return counts for the table view. Okay. Now we have a table view, we have to actually have something to hold this, but for now we want to make the actual model for this. So, new file, objective C class, subclass of NS object, and call it Resa. Create. Now, this will be pretty much empty because there's nothing in it. So, to make your header file and make a few properties. Now, property, non atomic, copy. It's a huge argument discussion about copy and retain. I'm not going to get into it. Basically, copy copies this, this um, attribute and then allows things access to copy. It's going to be handy for what we're doing here. Retain will have almost the exact same effects, or should have the same effect. It's just one of those semantic little bits and bobs that come up in Objective C. First of all, in a string name property non atomic, non atomic copy, in a string instructions, and then property. Now atomic retain UI image image. Okay, nothing too much crazy there. And synthesize image name description. Sorry, instructions. Nice and easy. And then the few other things you want to do here, such as void. Dialic, super dialic, and then image release uh, name release, and then of course instructions release. Awesome. So we've created our data model, and uh, it's going to have a few little bits and bobs in it. But that's essentially all it's going to hold because we're going to put this information into here from a different class and then take it from somewhere else. So let's go back into our. We're not going to make our our holder just yet. For now, we're just going to make our um our model. It's not our model, our view. Okay. First of all, we're going to delete this method because even though this is going to, this is going to affect our style whatsoever, but there's one thing we have to do. Because there's three things that load when the app when the window loads. First of all is the init, then the view did load, then the view will appear. So I think the view will appear slightly before the yeah. Either way, the init the very first thing that loads. So we have to have a certain init to use the um NS object. So it's ID init with coder. Okay? Now self equals super in it with coder. A decoder. Okay? Don't understand this. This is just um, a way of taking data types. So if if self, which is always gonna be first things first, import recipe. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to actually go back and step back a step. I forgot a few little things we want to do. First of all is the properties. Property atomic oh come on retain ns mutable array recipe array and property no atomic retain I should remember recipes here actually import recipe dot h recipe recipe because we're going to be calling recipe a few times in this uh, in this window it's best to make a property of it and just initialize it once in the init and then reuse it and I show what I mean now 
it's going to delete this call. A double calling doesn't really matter, but it's bad practice. Okay. Right, first of all, we need to synthesize our objects. So synthesize recipe array, recipe, and recipe array. Okay. Now, we're going to use these two a lot in this window, so that's why we're making the dedicated calls for them here. So first things first, recipe array equals ns middle array lock in it in it so that can be now used anywhere in this window in this class very easily and then we want to make the same thing for recipe recipe equals recipe a lock in it in it okay because we're going to be calling those few calls in the recipe class quite a lot this one line here allows us to access the recipe class objects anywhere because it's been initialized in this window. So now we want to set up our um, cocktails. So basically, recipe dot name equals string. Then recipe dot instructions equals. Now I've actually set these up already in a text editor. I'm just going to import them all in one go rather than have you sit here and watch me type them all out every single time. But they're all just simple little calls like UI image image named string. Okay, those are, as you remember, these are our three things we have in our class recipe. Let's make sure this doesn't kill itself, return self. Now, we want to add these to our recipe array. So once all our calls are all our variables are entered, recipe array add object recipe. Okay, very simple. And then recipe release. Now we're going to do this several times for all our objects, but as I said, if we're going to have this look somewhere decent, we need a few variables to put in. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me type them all in. But that's the basic recipe huh, for the entire data set. So give me one second while I just... Copy and paste them in here. Uh, see one second. I actually renamed my array since I did this. Because it's very bad practice called the same name. Okay, so you can see I've already gotten some images and went off and put them together and all this kind of stuff. So now I'm just going to um, go back to these images and drag them into our project. So let's do These are all my stuff I have for my tutorials and stuff. It's not very interesting at all. Okay, so we now have all these images for our application. Okay, so these are now, if you look at what I did, I've added these objects, recipe, dot, whatever, sex on the beach, mojito, pina colada, into our recipe object. So now these have values. Now we want to use these values for something else. And I'm just going to stop it here because I've gone way f longer than I thought I'd be. Um, join me in part two to see the conclusion of this tutorial. See you soon.